Okay, welcome to SiliconAngle.com and we keep on exclusive coverage of HP Discover in Las Vegas. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract a signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, founder of SiliconANGLE, and, and we are going to be broadcasting live here in Las Vegas with HP for two and a half days. We're starting now, we're going to kick off the afternoon. Keynote starts today at four o'clock Pacific with Meg Whitman, and we are on the ground getting all the stories. We're going to extract the signal from the noise. We're going to talk to the top executives of HP. We're going to talk to their customers. We're going to talk to Anyone who can share with us some signal from the noise, we're going to share that with you. And I'm joined uh, this week by my co-host Jeff Frick and Jeff Kelly. Guys, welcome uh, to day one. Dave Vellante will be joining us later. He's uh, at another event uh, covering the storage, changing paradigm of software and big data. So guys, uh, welcome to HP. So let's kick this off. So um, uh, Jeff Kelly. So. One of the big stories here is obviously big data. The autonomy acquisition is kind of like, you know, it's kind of like you know eating that bad food. You got to get it through your system. At some point, you got to kind of clear it out. Like a, it's like heartburn. HP is almost at the end of essentially completely cleaned and 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 uh, uh, tox, toxic free from the old uh, baggage of autonomy. But ultimately, you know, that debt is still kind of they're going to work it through. Meg Whitman was clear yesterday in the interviews with All Things D and other outlets that, hey, the turnaround plans multi-year and they're going to mine their balance sheet and, and their T's and C's around all their business. But still, big data is pumping. Vertica's doing very, very well. We're going to hear a lot from them in autonomy. What's your take, the early read? I know some news is going to drop on the wire any minute now. You've been pre-briefed. Um, why don't you just break that news right here, uh, if you can, and <laughs> share with everyone what's happening. Sure thing. So is releasing what they're calling Haven, <clears throat> which is their uh, big data platform play. So Haven stands for Hadoop, Autonomy, Vertica, uh, Enterprise Security, and the end is for uh, the number of applications uh, that can be built on top of the platform. So this really is HP's first attempt to bring together the software, the big data software assets along with its hardware and services. How do you spell that? H-A? H-A-V-E. A little N. Lower N, lowercase N. Uh, so this is their attempt to bring together their software, the hardware, and services assets data. related to big data into a comprehensive platform. Enterprise. Um, the idea here, of course, is to uh, tell, tell a narrative around big data, uh, HP's big data capabilities. Uh, you know, up until now, because I think a lot of the because a lot of the uh, turmoil around the autonomy acquisition. Uh, the, it, that has kind of prevented HP from telling this unified story. Uh, and I know they've been working on this for a while and they've had to do this. So frankly, HP's a little late to the, to the game here, but you know, better late than never. And on first, first, first blush, it's a good start. Uh, it's, it's, I, would, I would say it's, it's as much a framework as it is a platform. Uh, you know, it, it involves uh, different types of technologies like Vertica for real-time analytics, autonomy for the text, textual type analytics, Hadoop, of course, for that batch analytics, large scale storage, uh, cost effective storage. So they're trying to bring that all together into a compelling offering. Like I said, it's, it's as much a framework as a as a uh, platform, but it's gonna it's gonna give HP Sales Salesforce really a, a better narrative to tell, uh, and it gives them really a, a roadmap that they can put in front of customers to say we're gonna t we understand that you need a unified vision of big data. And we're offering that now. It's step one. Uh, they've got, of course, execute. Uh, they're going to have some challenges, I think, around building applications for the platform. They're going to count a lot on their ecosystem partners, especially in the BI space, to help them do that. Um, but it's a good first step in terms of bringing together this unified big data uh, story from HP. So Jeff, uh, again, this is theCUBE, this is at Silicon Angle's exclusive coverage at HP Discover in Las Vegas. We were at IBM Edge, still there at IBM Edge, day two coverage at IBM. We have all the big uh, public companies covered, IBM, HP, you name it, it's post on NetApp. This is storage week, and I just did a tweet, storage week is greater than shark week. This is like, you know, this is storage <laughs> week, this is infrastructure week, and basically, you know, HP, uh, Jeff, uh, and Jeff, this is, it's, it's, we, we used to call it the big, big uh, aircraft carrier. You know, it doesn't really turn on a dime, but it's got a lot of, a lot of weight to it, a lot of power, um, and big data and, and enterprise, obviously a really, really big deal. I wrote a post uh, earlier today on my Forbes column, and we also have it covering on siliconangle.com, um, HP introduced Flash into their storage, very successful and profitable three-part line. So that is huge news because what that really means is that HP kind of said last shoe to drop for HP with, with storage and with Flash, having that Flash offering allows them to uh, compete in that game. But really ultimately, Dave Donatelli had a chance to sit one-on-one -on -one with him. He'll be on theCUBE at 110 today, as well as with Craig Nunez of the, of the Converged Infrastructure Group. And it is very, very clear that these guys absolutely get software-defined infrastructure, specifically 
typically software defined storage. And this is not new to them. It's not Johnny come lately to the game. These guys have been playing in this integrated world of converged infrastructure for many, many years. So this is not a new game. It's not their first rodeo when you talk about software. And with that, Jeff, it's multi-vendor. So, yeah. you know, that is a big thing right now. Multi-vendor support. They've been big proponents of OpenStack and Cinder. So this is not new to HP. Yeah, the thing that, that a whole other category of, of releases that are coming out and, and a lot of the stuff that we've been covering is the whole cloud angle. And HP really has uh, quite a story to tell on the cloud angle as well, what they call their converged cloud. Because based on the on the amount of work and the type of work that's being done, you know, they've, they've really come at this thing with a whole portfolio of products to offer the right solution to the client. And I think it's pretty interesting that they've got all their proprietary stuff and their you know, big proponents of OpenStack and that platform. And, and really, they, they can come at an enterprise with as Jeff said, kind of a unified vision, a unified journey to accomplish the tasks that are being asked in some of these new trends, but at the same time, um, they've got a variety of solutions that they can put on the table. So it's an interesting juxtaposition yeah. between a single vendor in HP, but a broad range of technologies that they can really apply to the problem. This is theCUBE, this is SiliconANGLE's flagship program. We go out to the events to try to steal the noise. This is day one of HP Discover of three days of live broadcast, and we are going to bring you all the action. And this is what we're going to look for, this is what we're going to bring with you today. We're going to go get the story. We're going to go where the action is. It requires an interview out on the floor, we're going to go get it. Our team is here on the ground, we're going to get those stories. So we're going to talk to all the executives is. We're going to talk to the customers, we're going to talk to the thought leaders, but more importantly, we're going to get the information because what's out there right now is that these big public companies, IBM, HP, Dell, NetApp, they're all transforming. And Jeff, what I just wrote about today in the blog is that the market's changing and that the economics are so compelling with cloud, mobile, and social that with Amazon's success with the cloud, you are seeing a massive reinvestment and a retooling. What that means is the, the entire marketplace is in transition. You thought big data was hot, guys? The data we're getting from the field right now, and we're going to dig in here at HP Discover, is that cloud is even more disrupted than we thought, and that is actually taking the top line activity uh, uh, and driving the big data action. And that when markets are reforming, all the chips are on the table. To use a Vegas analogy, they're all playing their cards, and whoever can reach in and grab those chips will win the game. And that's going to mean more R&D for these big companies, more importantly for startups out there, M&A. We are hearing a ton of buzz, Jeff, about the M&A activity going on within this marketplace. HP, IBM, these big public companies, they're all kind of second on their message. Oh no, we're going to grow organically, we're going to make the right acquisition. They are prospecting for companies. The market's moving way too fast. They're, going to, they're, looking, for, they're looking for buyers. I saw Aaron Labor from Box.net on, on the plane. I'm sure he's having those conversations. <laughs> so, you know, we, this is all awesome opportunity. And more importantly, the business value. HP has to deliver business value to their customers. Words like agile, words like flexible, words like return on investment. These are the core tenants of these big enterprise customers. They move a little slower, but when they do, they move big. So I'm expecting a lot of cloud, I'm expecting a lot of data discussions, data mobility, data movement, these are the stories, we're going to get those stories. Yeah, it should be It should be great, and it's funny, as you talk about the ecosystem, as I look out to our left, there's a huge a huge uh, area over there with a lot of partners, and as we've talked about even in this recent announcement, a lot of those companies were acquisitions. So, uh, it's an exciting time, and, and I think kind of at the, at the fundamental core of the whole thing, it's really about delivering business value as a service, and really changing the way that they think about hardware and software and storage, and really thinking about the customer problems, delivering these, uh, computing resources, storage resources as a service so that people can consume them in the best, most appropriate uh, way. So Jeff Kelly, I got to ask you, so guys, I want to ask you guys, both you guys a question, and then I'll weigh in on, with my comments. Um, pr prior to the show, what's the big buzz you've been hearing? Honestly, when, even when you walk down the hallways, it's pretty clear, news is dropping everywhere. We just had the three-part news, the storage news, big data news is hitting, the Haven news. What are you guys hearing? What are some of the buzz in the hallways? What are you overhearing, overhearing the conversations? and what have you heard directly, Jeff? Well, just the sense I'm getting is that this, this multi-year turnaround is starting, you know, it's a slow, it's a slow uh, turnaround, it takes, takes time with a, such a, a big organization as HP, but it's starting to, to uh, impact, I think, perceptions. I think slowly but surely, uh, you know, the perception of HP is starting to improve. I think that really, with the, the last earnings call, uh, I think started that, that momentum. Um, and you know, interesting from my perspective, of course, you know, HP is a hardware company for the most part. But you know, there is there's a lot of talk about their software assets around Vertica and, and now Autonomy. Uh, so it's it's 
it's interesting to hear that uh, you know that conversation happening at what is really a, a, has been known as really a hardware company uh, and their main show. So um, you know, I think things are the, the buzz is generally positive, and they've got a lot to uh, but they've got a lot to live up to. So Jeff, I want to follow up if I could, if you could share with the audience out there. Obviously, just break down the horses on the track for HP just on the big data because what's happened is you know we reported last time at HP Discover that autonomy was infiltrating all the different divisions. We saw open flow being shipped with in, on devices that shows some cross pollination with HP. We saw autonomy in the laser printers. You're seeing a big data throughout all the aspects of HP. That was the last two shows we've done, specifically the one in Frankfurt. It was very, very clear that autonomy was very proactively going in and being integrated in. Very positive trend. Now you have Vertica, you have autonomy. Lay out the, the playbook sure. for how HP structured as they attack that big data. Obviously we'll have George Kadifa on, who's the senior executive tomorrow um, here at HP. And we'll be on here tomorrow. So he runs that software group. Lay that out. Right. Well, what HP is trying to do, and this, this is not unique to HP, but what they're trying to do is build a essentially a platform play that allows customers the flexibility to deploy uh, and utilize the different assets within HP software uh, and, and their big data analytics uh, portfolio, be it Vertica, Autonomy, uh, even ArcSight for kind of log data management. Um, and, and make it as easy as possible for organizations to build a platform that's flexible, to, that flexes to their needs, uh, and can deliver you know, tangible ROI, solving specific business problems. But really, they're trying to build this platform play, uh, tell a more unified, simple, uh, simplified story, um, which I think is, is uh, incredibly important in this market, uh, because there's so much noise going around about uh, you know, what is big data, what isn't big data, um, you know, how much value is it going to deliver? So they're trying to tell a, you know, a better story. Again, this is not unique to HP. So what you've got at Pivotal is building, building a, a really a new uh, cloud-based big data platform, platform as a service. Um, you know, I see that as uh, kind of, this, this is not necessarily HP's response. I know having talked to the guys inside of Vertica and Autonomy, they've been working on this for a long time. So this is not, uh, HP is necessarily the response to Pivotal, but it's, 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 you know, you can put it right alongside that. And uh, you know, of course, IBM with their big data platform. So, so you've so got the whales right now. I, I just want to comment on Twitter, I a little comment. We had a little, our little Twitter tool that we always use is called the uh, CrowdSpots at Platform. But there was some interesting things. We had, um, you know, um, the key challenges of big data. The four Vs, Veloc volume, variety, velocity, you know, the normal four Vs. Yeah. So this guy writes, hey, four Vs meet the four Ss. Scale, source, speed, and security. So that that's some of the themes starting to trickle out here at HP Discover. You know, scale, speed, security, and that is really something that, that we're looking forward to hearing. The scale and business value conversation will be interesting to dig into, and that is something that HP can certainly differentiate from. Jeff, what have you heard uh, in the hallways? Uh, what was some of the buzz? The, the, the thing that's interesting to me, John, is there's so much activity with new new technologies, both open source and proprietary, supporting a lot of these, you know, the social cloud and mobile space. And I think what I'm hearing, what HP is trying to, to convey to the marketplace is we're your trusted partner. We know the space. We have our own stuff that we've been selling for a long time. We have new things. We're um, embracing open source where it's appropriate with open source, or excuse me, OpenStack and Hadoop. And really will help you on that journey. I've, I've heard the journey word a lot. Big data journey, cloud journey, you know, it is a journey, will help you on that journey to get started, have some early wins, and then expand it as appropriate throughout other places of the enterprise. So I think that the, the two big messages for me, John, is really this uh, embracing of a portfolio of possible solutions, including the open source uh, pieces, wrapping it with enterprise uh, ready software and services and support, and then really taking these enterprises hand in hand, because the thing that always amazes me is where to see, you know, how to CIOs prioritize right now. It's a really uh, kind of busy, change, changing environment. Yeah, so so besides the commentary that we were just laying down, my commentary in particular, I want to add a different twist to some of the things that I'm observing just to start the show. And this is something that I've been watching for a while, Jeff and Jeff, and, and it's about the culture. HP really has had a lot of things that going against them. Certainly in the press, even All Things D writes a negative article when ultimately they're doing really well. First of all, All Things D got it all wrong when they said the laser brand business is hurting. It's not. I had a chance to run into Pradeep Jotwani, who's uh, heading up the division again. It's definitely not hurting. So, you know, check your source there, guys, at All Things D. You might want to might want to dig into that a little bit, a little bit further. I know you don't really go want to go deep, but but you might want to. Um, the quality here is awesome. The people are buzzing, 
there, they had a spring in their step. Since Frankfurt, you saw a rallying cry. And I think this is directly related to Meg Whitman's leadership. Meg Whitman, uh, in certain circles in the industry, might not get the credit because she's not a super technical person. Some other companies have, you know, uh, you know, a technical founder like Larry Ellison, who's you know, heavy-handed. Meg has got a light touch, but she's firm and she's been very consistent. And I think the people within HP have rallied behind that. People are personable, they're approachable. I just made a tweet, George Kadif, a very approachable one-on-one -on -one with him. Fantastic individual, Pradeep Jatwani, the David Scott. I mean, these are great people. And I gotta say, the high quality individuals, people aren't like fearful. There's no like scaredness. In them. And I think that's something to report because the press kind of blows it out like it's a sinking ship and <laughs> HP's yeah. going under, it's dead. Yeah, they got some problems and they're fixing them. So, you know, that being said, we're watching that, we're digging in, but high quality people here, and I'm impressed by that. I, it, it's, it's, it's something that's worth noting. Yeah, well we say it time and time again, it's people, process, and tech, right? If you, you got to have all three legs of the stool or it's not going to work. And, and, you know, and there was turnover at the top there for a while, and they had a little, uh, a little, a little bit of a rocky path, but yeah, it does seem to have st st stabilized, and they seem to be on their way. And, and again, the the uh, aggressive adoption of some of these new technologies uh, is a great indication that they've got the confidence to go forward and really offer the, the the customers the options that they need to solve their problems. So please tweet us um, at Furrier at Silicon Angle. Go to the, the hashtag HP Discover. We're monitoring that as well. We'll take your questions. Ask us anything you want. You want us to ask us direct questions to the executives? We're going to have Dave Donatelli on here shortly. So please tweet us your questions. We'll ask the questions. We don't mind asking the hard questions. These executives can handle themselves and they're prepared. I've yet to knock an HP executive off their script. I got, I got to say, <laughs> HP executives are very well scripted, uh, but they're very transparent and they're very they're personal. So, so we'll stay with us all day here at Silicon Angle. Uh, we'll be back uh, with Dave Donatelli as our next guest after this short break. We're here live at HP Discover in Las Vegas, and uh, we'll be right back after this short break. <laughs>